Stephen G. Parker has a long list of firsts and bests in the field of computer science. In addition, he's probably the first honorary degree recipient who never graduated from high school. He grew up in Oklahoma, and he really enjoyed school until he got to middle school when the teachers quit allowing him to work ahead in math. At that point, he became a little bored. He started teaching himself electronics and computers, and unfortunately, skipping school. Steve never did get a high school diploma, but he took the ACT test, and based on his outstanding score in that, he was admitted to the University of Oklahoma, where he received a BS degree in electrical engineering. He was drawn to the University of Utah because of its reputation in computer graphics. I was very fortunate to be able to recruit Steve as a, as a graduate student in my group, and we were a very young group, just, just starting out, where, we, where I had just a few graduate students and a, a postdoctoral researcher. It was even so early that we didn't have a name for the group. And it was another student, Dave Weinstein, who came up with scientific computing and imaging, which we pronounce SKI. We were the SKI research group, and Steve was one of the inaugural members of that group. And it, it wasn't long before I learned just how smart he was. I remember giving him some code that I had written to do finite element approximations. And it was probably less than a week that he came in my, my office and announced that he had made it seven times faster. And it was just the first of many, many, many uh, times when Steve would do these amazing technical things. There was just a string of impactful ideas that Steve came up with as a graduate student. And then later after he graduated, he became an assistant professor of computer science here and a faculty member within the Ski Institute and a number of new innovations and impactful research. Steve became a world-class researcher and innovator in the category of computer visualization. His research and papers received many awards and acclaim and literally changed the face of computer graphics. In 2005, Steve created the Center for Interactive Ray Tracing and Photorealistic Visualization, which led to a startup company called Rayscale. Steve Parker founded a company called Rayscale, which was acquired by NVIDIA, which is the largest maker of hardware to support artificial intelligence now and computer graphics. When they bought that company, Steve was required to leave the university and head up a new office that NVIDIA established in Salt Lake City. He's now the vice president of professional graphics for NVIDIA. Perhaps most of you have never heard of Stephen Parker, but you have no doubt seen his work. Every time you're watching an animated movie or a special effect in a movie or you're playing a game, or your children are playing computer games, they're likely going to be utilizing some of Steve's work from either the software or some of the hardware that he, his ideas have helped to create. Although no longer on the U faculty, Steve has maintained his affiliation and affection with the U. He and his wife, Mary Ann, have made major donations to support the Scientific Computing and Imaging Institute and the John and Marcia Price Computing and Engineering Building. And we will be very proud to have their name on one of the most visible parts of that building. He's both brilliant and he's just a really nice guy. <laughs> Steve deserves the honorary doctorate because of the impact that he has had on society and on the university and on everybody who has come in contact with Steve. In an address given in March 2023, at the 50th anniversary of the Computer Science Department, Steve offered five pieces of advice for students. For the students, I'd also, you know, de demand or push it to be a special place. Chase both depth and breadth. Embrace parallelism. Build something ambitious, something that's bigger than yourself. And then finally, you know, respect that you're standing on the shoulders of, of giants. One of those giants is him.